Hi everyone. This video is about how to recover a database password. So I'm using as an example I'm using Access 2010 database. In this database, I have put password for VBA project. Okay, so nobody can nobody else can change the the coding. So what I will do? Let's suppose if anybody else okay has forgotten the password or maybe you have forgotten the password after keeping it or somebody else has designed the database and he left the office without telling you the password so first of all i will show you how to where to set the password okay. so let's see if you go to this one and now if i click on this one so it's asking for password so first of all how the password is set go to the properties and then it's asking for the password so it's giving me invalid password without having the password i cannot edit my database so what we will do i will recover the password now so to recover the password you need few tools okay let's suppose okay now i have downloaded this hex editor okay so you can go to the website or any other hex editor you can download so you can note down this website from here download the hex editor what i will do okay open the hex editor drag the target database or source database okay go to search find the keyword dpb okay now here it's showing dpb just replace it with x close save the changes yes okay now this database has been edited double click okay this error continue loading yes close this one now I will go to any design code or view code okay and expected error just press yes or okay don't worry about these errors okay now go back to the tools etask properties go to protection log project for viewing enter new password Let's see if I will enter one two three four five one two three four five press ok save the database close close ok open again now let's go back to view code asking for password one two three four five so now you have the vb project password with you fair enough let me know if you have any questions thanks a lot uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I know that some people like or dislike so it's better instead of just clicking dislike the video uh, I would welcome if you have any comments so that you know at least I will come to know why you dislike the video thanks a lot